Hello everybody, just before you watch this video, I want you to know at the end of this video, we're going to put a couple clips in from uh, Played Against Sports and from the Game Genie, a couple of local retailers. Um, if you go back to the video that was entitled the Unattended Yard Sale, you'll see that we made a bundle buy and we bought a bunch of video games and some sports equipment. And we picked some of the best stuff out of there and we're going to put a few things on eBay. Matter of fact, we've already sold some of those things on eBay. And we're already into the profit on those items. So we're going to take these items that are a little bit harder to sell on eBay. And we're going to take them to Played Against Sports and to Game Genie. And try to get our initial buy of 30 bucks back. So that everything we have sold on eBay is basically pure profit. And we do this to um, bundle items together to get better deals on quantities and then take the less desirable items and try to flip them quickly for a smaller amount of money rather than put a ton of work into listing these things on eBay. So it's, it's a little combo deal. We've been doing it more this summer than, than we did um, in the past, and it's been working pretty well. So check out the end of the video, and you'll see how we did on those items from the un unattended yard sale and uh, as we took them to Played Against Sports and to Game Genie. So check that out at the end. Thanks for joining us. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. This is Kevin and we are in the eBay cave and we're going to do a little bit of shipping. We had a busy day, we had a busy weekend um, of yard sales. Thank y'all for tuning into those yard sale videos and leaving comments and positive feedback. We appreciate that. And we have started selling, so Q4 is officially here, and the sales are showing it. Had a few items, like two really, really old items sell. There's nothing gets me more excited than those those old items selling, which is really, really good. Uh, let me know out there in the comments if you're if you're a reseller, if your sales have been going up. If you're not a resale reseller. Um, let me know when you start buying uh, Christmas gifts. Do you start as early as September? I can't imagine, but um, I can tell you what the clothes are starting to sell. Um, my wife's been selling on Poshmark a little bit. She's been selling sweaters. I think we've got a little sweater back behind that Hokie jersey. Um, some long, long sleeve stuff has sold lately. So um, if you have those winter items, um, fall items, they definitely need to be up and listed. And I shouldn't be talking to you because I have an entire closet in there full of jackets that I haven't even taken pictures of yet. So looks like I better get it on the ball. All right, join in and let's take a look at what's sold. All right, I feel like I've been talking about these um, refrigerator filters for a while. I think we have just a few left at this point, but this one sold same price as the other ones have been selling, 1081 free shipping. Um, so I'm making about 550 a piece. Um, after fees, after shipping, and after cost of goods, and we've sold bunches of them. All right, you always hear me when in doubt, part it out. So if there's something wrong with an item uh, at all, as it you know, if it's complete and something's wrong, I definitely part it out. Um, this item actually, there's nothing wrong with it. This is part of a new wave oven pro, and I like selling the domes off. They don't go for near as much as they used to, but the dome and then the heating element and then the trays, and then the um, little well here's the the silver trays but i mean the black trays at the bottom and these sold I, we're already well into the profit on this machine sometimes there's a cover with it sometimes there's an extension with it uh, most of i think all of the pieces for this particular one is sold this is the last one and it sold for 1450 plus shipping and it's pure profit um, after fees and shipping so it's about 12 bucks profit on this I have a few items that I'm not going to show you here today. A um, couple of backgammon um, pieces, sets of backgammon pieces that are getting shipped out. Uh, even a pinball. Um, I sh I'm shipping out one pinball. Only making about three bucks on it, but I am shipping that out. And I have the catheters that we talked about in the yard sales, I guess, two weeks ago now. Um, a set of two sold for $50.50. Free ship. This is a hokey jersey. has been hanging around for a little while, not quite a year. Um, but definitely got it at the end of the football season last year. And even though the Hokies lost to Boston College on the opening weekend, um, this still sold. Matter of fact, it sold during the fourth quarter of the game that they were um, losing, which I was like, huh, that's interesting. But uh, happy, happy to sell it. It didn't go for much. It was a $12.95 plus shipping on this, and I paid a couple bucks for it. So not a bad little flip. 
All right, this is an item my wife uh, had listed on Poshmark and double listed on eBay. Um, something she bought at the Goodwill for $3.99. It is a free people, I think is what it is. Yep, nope, I got that right. It's a free people, I don't even know what you call it. It's like a sweater slash jacket. Sorry ladies, I don't know what to, to call it. So maybe my, uh, my wife can leave it in the comments down there. <laughs> she what she wants to call it. I'm going to call it a jacket. How's that? And it sold for 40 bucks free shipping. It'll go in a fl uh, flat rate, padded flat rate envelope. And um, with fees on that and cost, we're probably looking at about a $24 profit. All right, this is part of the hat lot that we sold that John Deere hat for a couple hundred bucks. And if you remember, um, this is just a plain Jane little Walmart hat. Nothing special, not even in great condition. It sold for $11.88. Now this is one of those items I was telling about, telling you about that, that has been hanging around and hanging around and hanging around. So uh, my son had a baseball tournament um, a couple hours up the road, not last summer, but the summer before. So, or not this summer, but the summer before. So this has been in the store for probably 14 months. Um, we were going from one game to another game on a Saturday morning and as we were going um, about 20 miles between the two facilities, I stopped at a yard sale and I picked this up. I'm like, hmm, that's gonna pay for our gas all the way up. Well, it did, it just happened to pay for the gas um, <laughs> 14 months later. Uh, this sold for $22.95 plus $31.70, or excuse me, plus shipping for a total of $31.70. What it is, is indoor carpet um, bowling still even got the little uh, manual in it and it i thought it would sell a little bit quicker than it was because it had the box and the manual but um it, it ended up going i paid five bucks for it so we probably made about fifteen dollars on it all right so here is a happy little accident haul um sale it is department 56 this is uh, walter and larry's crypt i think that's right let me look it says the Travis Louis Walter Larry's Crypt, Snow Village, Department 56. I don't know, 2011. At any rate, it works. It does not have a box. Uh, it's got the little battery thing here. This thing lights up. And we are well into the profit for that. We're trying to get to 2,500 bucks. We're not even close just yet. But more and more stuff sells slowly but surely. We're getting down to a few last little Halloween things um, other than some ornaments selling. So. Um, I'm going to show you in just a second where we're at on the profit for that one yard sale so far, and it's going to keep going up. This item sold, and we're, remember, we're in the pure profit at this point, sold for $85 um, plus shipping for a total of 108 bucks. So we're going to have to make sure this thing gets packaged up. This is a candidate for a double boxer for sure. I'm going to put it in a smaller box and surround it and try to float it, and then I'm going to float that box inside of another box. So this might be a... 20 minute process 15 to 20 minute process to get this thing secure but i'm trying to protect an 85 dollars profit so you know if it sold for five bucks you know i probably put five minutes into it but it sold for 85. all right so with that sale um and two halloween decorations that sold out of one of the booths the other day we're up to 870 dollars on the happy little accident so we're getting there slowly but surely so here is a uh, dollar buy turned into 13.95 plus shipping this thing sold for 18 dollars and 48 cents um so after fees after shipping it is almost a 13 dollar profit so we'll say 12.50 so um that's a pretty good sale on something this easy to snap two pictures of, slide it in an envelope, and hit print. So I love those kind of sales. Not to mention, it's pretty hard to break this thing. I don't have to double box and float this baby. All right, y'all, thanks for joining us. And as always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And please do us a favor, if you don't mind, I'll leave some comments below. We'd appreciate that and hit that bell and that'll help us out a little bit. But thank you guys so much for always coming back and watching our videos. We really appreciate it and hopefully we see you next time. Hi, we're at Played Again Sports. I am looking to turn in some of the stuff I've been buying over the last couple of weeks. 
Um, I bought most of this stuff in lots or really, really cheaply, so almost everything that I'm going to make here is pure profit because we've already made money off of the lots that we bought this stuff in, with a few exceptions um, where we paid a, a small amount for some of these things. I'll try to show you what it is I bought and what it is we're going to get for it. All right, so it's not much, but this is what we're looking to take in and see if we can get some money. Hey, I'm inside. Just want to tell you, if you're ever around a plate against sports, just get an idea of what you can get for something. If you look at the tags, like this is an old ping bag. It's got some damage. This is $19. So you can usually get around 30 to 40% of that, depending on how you get it. So some of the bags are a little nicer. This one is... Uh, um, $79 so you could probably get around 35 bucks if you brought this bag in 30 bucks maybe um, so it just depends you know these are used bags here just depends you know this one right here it's a golden bear that's not a real great bag 29 bucks if you brought that in you'd probably get about eight to ten dollars for it maybe 11 at the most 12 29 bucks so you'd probably get 10 10 to 12 bucks for this if you brought something in like that used Some batting tea a little bit too low five bucks i probably will take it because it's uh headed into the winter time uh skills hitting the stick is way too low i'm going to keep that and sell it on ebay the helmet is perfect it's a great price for that pull up bar is okay Perfect push-ups a little low. I have to decide what to do about that. And the uh, screen is about what I expected. I was hoping for 20, but um, 24 store credit. So I might ask them to bump that one up a little bit and see what they say. All right, they ended up taking five more dollars, or giving me five more dollars, um, just because I said I could. Uh, I was going to keep that. A hitting stick because it's definitely worth more than that it's probably worth more than what they gave me for it anyways but you know what i don't have to go through the hassle and i made some money on it i paid for all of that stuff i bet i'm into it for no more than about ten dollars at the very most because i've sold so much stuff off that i bought in that giant unattended yard sale lot almost all of it was from there and all the stuff i bought at that yard sale was 30 bucks and just the just the stuff that I resold here, I got 45 bucks for minus that uh, the perfect push up in that bar. All right, we're at the Game Genie. I have some games here. These are not brand new in the plastic, so don't freak out. These are definitely used games that have been resealed. They don't even have the manuals, so they're not great. Um, titles and they are definitely not new if they were I wouldn't be bringing them here um, I have some games I bought in some lots not too long ago that I need to get rid of I picked the great games out of them. matter of fact I bought this lot um, not too long ago and I sold one that was in that lot today for 30 bucks so um, I'm only into the whole thing for like five so um, I've got a few more that I'm gonna sell I'm gonna make about 55 bucks on them so all of this profit all of this is just free money at this point so let's see what they'll give us here at Game Genie. Thank mm -hmm. you. 